They are going wild here at Carl Fair South because Rob Bryden is about to come down and have a really intimate chat with Chris Evans. It's so special. There's so many people. It's absolutely amazing. It's the first year at Carl Fair. Come on, check it out. Look at this in the sunshine. Just like Carfest North. Hello, everybody. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Now, we've never done this before, but we thought we have so many lovely, famous faces here. We might as well talk to them. What about that? Okay, so Rob, uh, I wanted to induct him into the full on Carfest experience. So uh, he's been around the campsite. He's, uh, he's here till uh, Sunday with his family. He's coming for the whole weekend. Uh, but of course, before we had this chat, I wanted him to go around the track, um, which he's just done. How was that for you? Uh, I felt sick. <laughs> it was, you said we weren't going to go very fast. I would say we went very fast. It always feels quicker than it looks. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was a, what was it, a Ferrari? Yeah, it was a, for a 250 short wheelbase, which is race prepared for good, the Goodwood Revival in two weeks' time. That's it's, right. It's quite nippy. Yeah, it was lovely, and we went round this track, and I nearly threw up. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, you and cars, the car you're most famous for yes. is the Range Rover, I would imagine. I suppose in the trip where we do the... The trip, ladies and gentlemen, the trip. Yeah. trip. Which I do with um, that 90s comedian <laughs> from Manchester. I don't know if you've heard of him. What's his name? Steve Coogan, yes. Oh, you're so dirty. Uh, <laughs> he always likes to get a mention. Um, we've just done the trip to Greece, which will go out next year. And, uh, yeah, we drive the Range Rovers. We had uh, a Mini when we went to Italy. And he always drives, because he doesn't trust me to drive. He thinks he's a great driver. And he's pretty good. But when he drives, when he drives fast, he turns into Lewis Collins. Remember from the professionals? Yeah, of course. He drives like this. <laughs> and it's kind of sad for a man of his age, you know? So there's no connection with the vehicle because he's too tense, he's too tall. He's too tense. He should listen to me, Chris. He really should. He's not here, is he? <laughs> 